In this video, we're being asked to find the volume of the solid that we get when we rotate this bounded region about the y-axis. So before we draw our picture over here on the right, let's come over here on the left and do a rough sketch of all of these graphs. So y equals 2x squared is a parabola, so it's going to look something like this. That's y equals 2x squared. y equals 0 is this horizontal line. It's basically the x-axis. And x equals 2 is a vertical line at 2. So here's 2, and then here's x equals 2. So it looks like we're dealing with, with this region here. So let's go ahead and go over here and draw it again a little bit bigger. So there's the y-axis, and there's the x-axis. So x, y. And we only care about this piece over here, this enclosed region. So here we have y equals 2x squared. And then here we have the line x equals 2 and then here we have the line y equals 0. And it looks like we're spinning this about the y-axis, so I'm going to use like a little arrow here to indicate that we're spinning it there. Okay, whenever you're using the disk method, which is what we'll use in this video, you want to make sure that your rectangles are perpendicular to the axis of revolution. So this is called the axis of revolution, the y-axis. So when we draw our rectangle, the only way to draw it is like that. Okay, so now that we've drawn our rectangle, we should label both big R of Y and little r of Y. And the reason I say R of Y is because whenever we have a horizontal rectangle, we're always going to have functions of Y. And whenever we have vertical rectangles, we always have functions of X. Super, super useful. So in this case, big R of Y it's always the full distance from the far end of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So that's big R of Y. It's kind of like the outer radius. Little r of Y is the little distance from the close end of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So that's little r of Y. Because we have functions of Y, we actually have to take this and solve it for X. So let's go ahead and do that. We can divide both sides by 2. And we end up with y over 2 equals x squared. If we take the square root of both sides, we end up with x equals plus or minus the square root of y over 2. But since we're in quadrant 1 and x is positive, that means that x is the square root of y over 2. All right, that means that this line here, this little distance here, is x equals the square root of y over 2. So that's going to be our little r of y. So little r of y is the square root of y over 2. And big R of y, well, no matter where you draw the rectangle, big R of y is the same. So this is 2. So big R of y is simply 2. And now we can go ahead and write down the volume. So the volume is equal to pi. And we're integrating with respect to y. So we got to be careful. So going from 0 all the way to this y value. Looks like we still have to find this y value. So how do we do that? Well, we can take 2 and we can plug it into this equation here. And that will give us the y value of this point. So when x is 2, we get y equals 2 times 2 squared. So 2 times 4 is 8. So that is 8. So we're going from 0 to 8. And then we take big R of y and we square it. So 2 squared, because big R of y was 2. Then we subtract and we take the square root of y over 2. And we square it. And we put all of this in parentheses. And this is dy. And via magic, this should be equal to 16 pi. And I didn't feel like working it out because it takes forever. Well, not too long, but uh, the hard part of these problems is setting it up. So hopefully that made some sense. I hope this helps.